Okay, welcome back. This is the ENG 460, and last time we looked at um, the jump and link instruction for MIPS. So today we're going to look at the jump and link, but we're going to add something to it, in particular pushing and popping onto the stack. Okay, so I've got a program here. Let me bring that in view. And it looks similar to the program we talked about last time. Okay. Uh, this demonstrates a simple subroutine call using jump and link instruction with pushing and popping on off the stack. All right? So I've got my data segment right here, and I have my uh, you know, initial demo uh, string that I'm going to print out to the console, jump and link with stack. And then I have a message that tells me I'm inside subroutine 1, and then I have my normal termination. Okay? All right, well, here is my um, text segment with my main. Okay? Okay, there's my entire main. And again, I have my, you know, my main begin and main end over here. Okay, little comments let me know the scope. So then I basically just print out a message, right? Load B04, and then I'm printing out, loading the address of message into A0 and calling syscall. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, initialize my save registers, S0 through S7 to 0 through 7 respectively. All right, so register S3 has the value of 3. Register S5 has the value of 5. Then I'm going to call subroutine 1. Okay, and then I'm going to call subroutine 1 again. And then I'm going to do normal termination. Okay, so when I call sub 1, registers S0 through S7 have 0 through 7. All right, let's go look at sub 1 and see what sub 1 does. Okay. Well, here is sub 1. And the first thing we do is we push stuff onto the stack. Okay, we want to preserve the values of the save registers in the main routine because this routine is going to modify them. Okay, and then somebody else back in main might need the original values. So I'm going to push all save registers, S0 through S7. That's 8 registers. 8 registers times 4 bytes is um, 32. So the stack grows downward in memory, so I have to take the stack pointer and subtract off 32 bytes to make room to push all these new quantities. Okay, so now since I drop down 32, I can store a word 28 bytes up, 24, 26, 20, 16, 12, 8, 4, and then a zero offset from the current value of the stack pointer. Okay? <coughs> so I've allocated eight 32 bit locations, and then I access them by 0 through 28. So at that point, I've pushed 0s0 zero, zero through s7 on the stack. Then I'm going to print out a little message that says you're inside sub 1. Okay? Then I'm going to change all these values to negative 1. Okay? And then when I leave the uh, subroutine, I am going to um, pop all those save registers off the stack, and they should get their original values. Because see, up here I'm changing them all to negative 1, right? But as soon as I pop them off with a load word, then they should go back to 0 through 7. And then, of course, you know, we're done with the stack, so now you have to add 32 back to the stack pointer, and then it'll shrink back up into high memory. And then we just do our last statement, which is jump register return address. All right? Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and load this program into Qt Spim. Let me save it in case I made any changes. And let's load it. Uh, Reinitialize load file, and this guy is jump and link stack. All right, so let's just hit F10, and we'll start through this. First thing we do is we load immediate V04. Now I'm going to load the address of message into A0 and do a sys call. All right, so it prints out my title in the console window. Demo program, jump and link uh, with stack. Now I am going to initialize my S0, S1, S2, S3, S4, S5, S6, S7 registers to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So at this point, let's go look at our registers. There is S0 down to S7, and they have the value of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. Now at this point, I'm getting ready to execute the jump and link sub 1. All right, so we're going to jump down here to sub 1. All right, this is where sub 1 begins. First thing I do is I adjust the stack pointer. Now you can look at the stack pointer. Where's the stack pointer? Stack pointer is right here, 7 F F F. F1 E8, okay, 1 E8. Over here, I'm going to subtract 32 from that. And let's go back and see if it changed. Yeah, I think it was 1 E8, now it's 1 C8. So we subtracted 2 0 hex, which is uh, 32 in decimal, all right, which I have right here at 32. So now I'm going to push those guys onto the stack. 
Okay, push S0, S1, S2, S3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And then I am going to print out a message that tells me I am currently inside sub 1, which you see right here, okay, inside sub 1. And then um, we're going to come down here and initialize all those guys to negative 1, or, or set, change their values. Okay, so let's go look at this point at those save registers. And sub 1 has changed them all to quad F quad F, which is negative 1, 2's complement. Okay. Well, we're getting down toward the end of uh, sub 2, or sub 1, so what do we do? Well, we basically restore the save registers by popping them off the stack with the load word command. And then I restore the stack back to where it was before I called this procedure. And then I jump return address, jump register to return address. And now we're back up in main, okay? So at this point, that was the first out, we've just completed one invocation of sub one. Let's go look at our registers and make sure those S registers have been preserved back to what they were before I called sub one. And they did. We popped them back off the stack and there's zero through seven. So again, I'm gonna call um, sub one again. And the same thing, we push them onto the stack. We do a little message that says, okay, this I've called sub one again. Okay. And then I step down to here and I set them all equal to negative one. So I've changed them all. Okay, let's go verify that they've been changed. Yep, they've all been changed. Okay, I'm at the bottom part of sub one. Now what do I do? I pop them off the stack with the load word command. And then I reinstate or I reset uh, the stack pointer to what it was before I called this guy. And then I jump back to main using jump register and the contents of the $RA register. And now we're back in main. Okay. Okay, we're back into main. Here is my in main statement. And what do I do? I just do my normal termination message, syscall, normal termination, load immediate v0, syscall. And then notice this message changed from single step to stop. And there you go. Yeah, you just pushed and popped onto the stack. So let's go back and review. Anytime you have a subroutine, what are you going to do? Well, you got to make some room. Then you push whatever you want to push. Then you do something. Then you pop them off. You restore the stack pointer, and then you jump register. And there you go. That's kind of, You'll always have those in a subroutine. All right? Okay, that's jump and link with stack. Hope you enjoyed that, and see you next time.